Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we finished exploring the Pokemon Mansion and we entered the Fire-type Pokemon Gym of Cinnabar Island run by Blaine. And uh, in this episode, we're going to continue going through the gym and uh, perhaps find some other things to do, since I don't think that'll take up all of our time today. Anyways, I like using Fire-type Pokemon. I just do. Well, of course, it's not like you have to justify why you do things. <coughs> Anyways, this episode might be a little bit shorter than the others. Holy crap, you're up to level 41. You're the first, like, Pokemon I think I've encountered, or first trainer I've encountered who has a Pokemon that's at least level 40. You're above level 40. That's impressive, actually, dude. Congrats on you. Even if it is just a ponytail. Too hot to handle. Oh, these puns are gonna kill me. Okay. Anyways, yeah, uh... We gotta find something else to do while we're here. I know why Blaine became a trainer. Really? Tell me! I must know all the secrets of all the gym leaders. We know parts about, we know parts of their history. For example, we know Lieutenant Surge was a, uh, in a war and he fought along with the Pokemon. And that's a Rapidash. <laughs> okay. That's neat. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Rapidash is still an awesome Pokemon. You cannot deny the awesomeness of a Rapidash. Ow. That's what you have to say for yourself? Ow, you didn't even get hurt, dude. Okay. Our leader, Blaine, became lost in the mountains, but good. Night fell when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. <gasps> Moltres? Its light allowed Blaine to find his way down safely. Whoa. That's actually really cool. <laughs> um. Okay, who's left? Hello. I've been to many gyms, but this one suits my style. Mm. All right. I'm assuming because there are a whole bunch of other nerds here. Oh, well, you're a burglar. Um, whatever. I guess you're in rehab. Are all these burglars kind of expected to be in rehab or whatever because they're in this gym? I don't know why Blaine would let a bunch of burglars and his trainers in his gym. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really do that for any reason other than to help re rehabilitate them. <laughs> um... Now, Pippi is just plowing through these trainers. My gosh. It's incredible. Yeah, I think this episode's gonna be shorter than most because, first of all, we don't have as much stuff to do and we can't obviously be blamed even in this amount of time. But, well, maybe we can. Who knows? Yeah, was it too hot? Well, I don't even want to try right now because I want to do at least a little bit of training. Hello! Fire is big against H2O. Oh! Gosh darn it, you nerd! <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think of- it was like something- some story that I heard that was actually really funny, um, from science class. Uh... Okay, I remember, I remember now, okay. So... The full name for water, or the, in other words, H2O, is dihydrogen monoxide. Not a lot of people know this, apparently, because there was once, I think this person was a student, and they went around to just random people throughout their neighborhood and town or whatever, and got people to sign this petition to take the dihydrogen monoxide out of their water supply. Almost, pretty much every single person the student asked signed the petition in a heartbeat without bothering to look at what dihydrogen monoxide was. They were signing a petition to take the water out of their water supply. <laughs> I, f I find that story really funny. Oh, uh, you're intimidating. Um... I'm gonna leave you and your awesome mustache and glasses alone. I guess Blaine's really quite a nerd himself. <laughs> Maybe that's why he basically fills the entire gym with either burglars or super nerds. So he doesn't feel so alone. Uh, let's get out of here though, because I'm not ready to fight him yet. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. 
Um, there is one other thing that I want to do that I know I should do. And that is, I really want to check on that scientist guy, the weird scientist guy. Yeah, I gave him the old amber, and I want to see if he's finished converting it into a real Pokemon, a really super duper awesome Pokemon. You know, actually, I think you can technically just, like, take one step outside of the room and just step back inside and he'll give the Pokemon to you. But where's the fun in that? You have to wait for the things you want, right? Good things come to those who wait. I try to be as patient as I can. I'm practicing it here, apparently. Alright, you! You were late. Where were you? Okay, well, I was finishing exploring the Pokemon Mansion, and I also wanted to go and fight some of the trainers in the gym. Your fossil is back to life. It was Aerodactyl, like I think. Woo, sweet! Okay, let's nickname him. Ooh, 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 ooh! I can't remember if this is a name exactly. Um, Petrie. Is that how you spell his name? Petrie? Petri? Is it... You know what? I'm gonna freaking look it up. I'm, uh, I'm sitting in front of my computer. That's right, I can do this. Land... I can't even type. Before time... Oh! I was gonna spell it wrong. Okay, you actually spell his name. Was I accidentally hitting the pack button? I misspelled his name really badly there. My apologies. Okay, P. Tree. There we go. P. Tree. Also named after Land Before Time character, who was a pterodactyl. Or a flying dragon, or a flying dino. I don't know why I always call them dragons! Gosh darn it. Okay. Let's investigate. Sweet! Only level 5, but who cares? He's still awesome. A modest nature. Oh, he is Petrie! Oh. Okay, rock hard, that's awesome. Only wing attack, but that's not bad. Okay, uh, there's one thing that I really wanted to try. I really wanted to try... <laughs> I really wanted to try battling with Articuno, just to see what it looks like. And also because we have a bit more time to eat up in this episode, I'm not going to have a full-length episode this time. Partially because my camera is running out of space. And also because we don't really have much to do. So we're just going to mess around for a little bit having fun with Articuno. Gosh darn it, I just realized I need Pippi to surf. Wow. I am so freaking smart today. I can't even figure out what I'm doing. Alright, Pippi, come on. Into the party you go. I'll get you back eventually, Jewel. Jewel is a cleanse tag? I always forget that. <laughs> okay. Surf! Surf! Let's find Missing No! <laughs> no, I wish. Uh, if only. Tentacool. Let's see what Articuno looks like in the back. Holy crap, it's awesome. Let's see. Missed! Now I'm the one controlling the bird. Mwahahaha! And pointlessly using moves! Mwahahaha! Agility! Sweet. <laughs> I'm too fast for you, Tentacool. Don't confuse my Articuno. Mind reader! It will read your mind. I know that you want to be supersonic again. <laughs> hey, look at that! Maybe what Sabrina said about us all being psychic and not knowing it is true. Okay, whatever. Let's switch to Jackie so we can get rid of the confusion. Don't poison. Don't poison. Okay, Articuno, go! I'm just, I'm just excited because it's a legendary. You know what, this should become, like, this should become a, uh... This 
Misty's missed again. This has become like a tradition where every single time we catch a legendary Pokemon, we go out and battle with it and try all its moves just for fun. That should become a thing. Wow! <sighs> I ain't having none of that. This time it's gonna be Yen. Go oh, Yen. Be free. No, don't be free. I need you. <laughs> Yen wouldn't leave me. <sighs> yeah. That's exactly how I wanted to spin this time. Precisely how I wanted to spin this time. Alright, now do not use freaking supersonic on me. Wow! 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 I bet you think you're so freaking cool doing that, huh? Not anymore! Not anymore! <laughs> not anymore! <laughs> Can't poison a poison type. Oh. Okay, I swear to God, just let me use Ice Beam on you so you can die. Finally! It's a level 9. Being faced by level 50 freaking Articuno. Ha 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 ha! Finally, Articuno is the victor! <laughs> Alright, now then. Oh, we have to go back to the Pokemon Center now and heal. Oh, darn it! Why is this so difficult? Don't do this. Why did I call it? Why? <laughs> yeah, I can't really think of anything else to do other than get my team back in order. Perhaps discuss my strategy for the gym? I am going to be doing some training before I do that. Just a little bit, though, so that's nothing big. I need to get some lunch because I'm hungry. Uh, anyways, oh, Jewel. Here you go. Not... I need to switch you with Articuno. Alright. Yeah, for the gym, I'm definitely going to be using mostly Pippi, but Vill Willow will be used at some points, too. Let's leave our game, because, well, heck not. Alright. Oh, also, we've reached 29 hours spent playing this game. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to end the episode here. In the next part, after we've done some off-screen training, I'm going to go take on Blaine, and we will earn our 7th gym badge. And then who knows what lies in wait for us after that. I will see you peeps later.